So let's start by making this single.php file look more like an actual blog post page. Because remember, this is for displaying individual blog posts. So right here, we're looking at our individual blog post here. I'm going to refresh this. Okay. So we have a sidebar kind of stuck down here at the bottom. And then we have the blog post title right here and the body. We also have this kind of big text. I think this is hard coded in. Let's go over here to cloud nine and there that's kind of hard coded in. We don't want that. We want to pull the title dynamically from the admin section from the database actually. So I'm going to wipe that out. Okay. So if I save that now and go back and look at my blog post, I refresh. Okay. And again, if you're confused as to what we're refreshing here, we're looking at an individual blog post and this is what the URL structure for mine currently looks like. Yours might be different depending on the title and the date you created yours. So to find it, just to recap, you'd go to posts and then add a new post if you don't have any in here and just click view. And you'll see your blog post that we're editing. You'll want to give it some content too. So you'll want to give it a title and a body and all that stuff. Okay, so we're just editing, editing a dummy one right now. And then over here, for the title, I'm going to give it an H1 for now. And then I'm going to save the file and go over here and refresh. And there, there's the title of the blog post. This is the body. And then all of this is the sidebar. So the first thing I want to do, let's just make this look a little bit more like a blog. Let's move the sidebar to the right where it would look like a typical kind of sidebar. And then we'll have the body occupy kind of the first three fourths of the page. Okay, the width of the first three fourths. And we can do that really easily using Bootstrap. If you recall, Bootstrap has a grid system built in. And by default, it is a 12 column grid system. And so if you read these documents, it makes it really easy to figure out how to implement their grid system. Basically, they're saying you just need to have a div called row. And then inside of it, you can apply grids as we see. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you so you get a feel for how to do this. Let's go over here. And what we're going to do is put the body and title, the content and the title of the blog, in one part of the grid. And we'll put the sidebar here in a separate part of the grid. And the way we can do it is like this. Inside of this div called container, we'll go in here and we'll create a new one called div and we'll give it a class equals row. We have to do that according to Bootstrap. Grab that closing tag and put it just above the container divs closing tag. Okay, now we want to tab all of this in the loop inward. And then we got to do another thing. We got to go in here and create another div. And this time we're going to say class equals call for column dash medium or MD and then eight columns. Out of the 12 column grid, I'm gonna reserve eight columns for the title and the content, just the loop really, this entire PHP structure here, that loop. So let me grab the closing div, and remember you can pause the screen as needed, and I'm gonna put it right here at the bottom of the loop, and then tab the loop inward, just like that. Okay, so we have eight columns reserved for the loop, which is the kind of the title and the body of our blog post. And then over here, the sidebar, we need to reserve four columns for that to total out to eight plus four equals 12. So I'm gonna say div class equals call MD four this time. And you have to make sure that these add up to 12 whenever you're doing this kind of column addition thing here or separating things out into multiple columns. And we wanna wrap that in there Okay, now watch all the different div tags we have here. We have a lot working together. These are all closing div tags here. This one closes this. This one is closing the row. And this one's closing the container. And here's a good best practice is what you can do when you have so many divs lining up like this because you get this kind of triangular shape in HTML quite a bit. You can do this. You can just add a little HTML comment. This is how you do comments. And you say row, 
so that we know, okay, this is the closer for the row. And then we could do the same thing for container here. Okay, so that'll kind of help you to see what these are closing out. And these gray lines in Cloud9 help as well. So if I save this now, and then I go over and I refresh, there now we've started, we're starting to get a layout of a blog. This is going to occupy the full width up until these four columns over here. And I can see that if I right click and hit inspect, you'll see there you go. That's about how wide that title will ever go with this new layout. And this is how wide the body text will go. And then this is how wide these four columns look for the sidebar. Okay? So there we go. Now it's starting to look a little bit more like a blog page. And also, just to make this sidebar look a little more flushed out, because it's kind of bare bones, just so that we can visualize what a finished blog would look like, I'm going to go to the Admin section. Then I go to Appearance, and then Widgets. And this is where I can manage this. I'm going to get rid of this little dummy text here. So I hit Delete to get rid of that part. And then I could add something like Pages, and list all the pages in my site. So I'll save that. And we'll just leave it like that and then go over here and refresh. And there we go. Now we're listing all of the actual page post types, which right now we have an About Us, an FAQ page, and a sample page. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a filled out sidebar just to show you. And again, if you add plugins and things like that, you could have live chat in here. You could have ads here. A lot of popular blogs make money from listing ads, right? So you could probably add a plugin that will host ads here, or you could manu manually put your ads in using this arbitrary text thing right here and drag it right there. And then you could just add the HTML for an ad and charge whichever company who's sponsoring the ad for that space. So I just wanted to show you what a filled out blog page would look like.